All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. And welcome back to our Prana lesson. So today I will be the con I will be conduct this today free online lessons with a title for today lesson will be export civil 3D in topography to Revit, uh, which this uh, title this uh, lesson are being uh, are being uh, suggested uh, by our participant before uh, before uh, this FOL. So uh, they want me to show how to export civil 3D topography to Revit. So today I will show you how uh, the method that I use to uh, export the civil 3D topography to Revit. Okay, uh, I hope that you can see my screen and hear me clearly. If you cannot see my screen or you cannot hear me and just let me know at the chat box, okay? So I'm going to like skip this one first. Okay. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Aunu Umira. I am the application engineer at ACAT system. Okay. If you have questions, you can just let me know and I will answer it. Okay. So thank you everyone for joining me. And a, a moment, I'm going to admit participant. Sorry. Okay. So here I'm sharing with you our outline for today's lesson. So uh, the first one, I'm going to show you how uh, we're creating a point in civil 3D. And from the point, we will generate the surface. And after that, we going, we're going to export it to civil 3D drawing. So we can link it to Revit. And then I show you how we set the topography in Revit. Uh, referring to the civil 3D topography surface. And then we set the elevation. And lastly, I show you how to create the building pad. So uh, in the building pad, you can like draw your building there and so on. Okay. So uh, this is just a method that you can use uh, the specific spec or uh, the value uh, you may uh, use your own spec and also you have if you have your own method you may use that too okay so without wasting any time let go to let's go to our civil 3d so right now i already opened my civil 3d okay uh, the first one is i'm going to create a new drawing okay click on new drawing and here, I'm going to go to Home tab to insert my point. Go to Home tab, or you can also go to Insert. Okay, you can go to Point from File here. Okay, go to Home tab, go to Point drop down, and then click on this Creation Point Creation Tools. So here is a box for creating a point. So I'm going to click on this last button here. Okay, last button here for import file. Okay, and then here is a uh, import point box. So click on this plus green color here. Click on that one. And then you can find your data for your topography or your point. So uh, either in the CSV file or TXT file, you may use it. So right now, currently the data I have is uh, CSV file and it uh, contains the PENZD point. Okay, value. So click on open. So for the file format, I will use PENZD, which is have the, the uh, Z point. Okay, Z elevation. So click on OK. And then that is my point. Okay. So next one, I'm going to generate the surface. So close on this box first. So to generate surface, you go to this tool, tool space here, go to Prospector tab, and then click on this surface, right click and create surface. So it will pop up this box for you to create surface. So you can rename it uh, uh, regarding your own specification. 
So for me, I'm just going to like name it as topography. And then there will a style that you can choose. Okay. So I'm just going to choose a default. Okay. Let it uh, set as default and click on OK. So it not yet generate the surface. It's just creating a file or like a, 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 a surface name here. So to generate the surface here, you can click this topography drop down. So this is what the surface that we just created just now. And then click the de definition drop down. And then you can find there is a point group. So right click on the point group, group and click on add. <clears throat> so it will pop up this uh, point group box. So if you have like more point groups, it will show here. So currently I only have this uh, point group. So I just use this all point. I did, uh, I just, uh, I didn't have any uh, others point group left. So I just have all point. So I click on apply, click on okay. So you can see there is my surface uh, generating and with uh, referring to the point. So next one, I'm going to like edit the level for the point here, which uh, I want it to show the north and east elevation. So it will be easier for us to export it later on in Revit. So go to point, uh, point selection here, okay, point drop down here, point groups, okay. And then you can see this is all point, right click and go to properties. So to change the label for the point star, you can go here at point level star, click on the drop down, and then I'm going to use this nothing and easting level. Click on apply, click on okay. So you can find it will like uh, show you the level for north and east value. So next one, I'm going, sorry, I'm going to show you how we export it in Revit. So before that, you have to like export it to civil 3D drawing. So you cannot like uh, save it and just link it to Revit. You cannot do that. You have to export it first in civil 3D drawing. To do that, you may go to output tab here. Okay. You can find that is the export civil 3D drawing. Okay. Click on that one. Okay. Before you export it, you have to save your project first. So click on OK. So go to C3D logo here and save first. Go to save as, go to drawing. And I'm going to save it at the uh, desktop to me to just can just find it easily. So just going to rename it as topography and click on save. So after you save your project, got Enco. Oh, sorry, sorry, CA. Oh, there is Enco here. Oh, thank you for letting me know, CA. So right now it's okay. I just connect my headphone. Okay. Uh, there is an ankle there. Still, still have ankle. Okay. I hope that you can hear me. Sorry for the ankle. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to continue. So um, after you save your, uh, your civil 3D drawing, so you go to export civil 3D drawing. Click on export civil 3D drawing, and then this box will pop up. So export civil 3D drawing. So the export file will be the AutoCAD DWG and the external DWG reference, I'm just going to ignore it. And then the other uh, default setting, I'm just going to let it save as default. And then for the destination folder, it will be at desktop. So it will be easier for me to find it later on in Revit. So this is what the file that we export. OK, 
Okay, you can find, you can click on this drop down. Then you can find there is like a tree drawing, uh, actually four with the original one topography. Uh, four drawing will be safe. Layout one, layout two, model and topography. So what important here is the model drawing it's because we want to export in Revit. So if you don't want to save this layout one or layout two, you may just uncheck that. Okay, so it will just be a two um, drawing uh, will be export. The first one is topography and the second one is the model. And then click on export. Okay. So uh, a moment, it will export. Okay, click on okay. So now go to your rabbit. I'm open my rabbit here. Okay. So you can uh, create a new model. So click new model and I'm going to use construction. Okay, there's no construction here. Or oh, click on browser. So I'm going to use construct construction default metric. Okay, click on open. Click on okay. Okay, this is my construction drawing. So I'm going to go to site plan. So for me, let uh, so easier for me, it will not uh, be confusing. So the first thing I will do in Revit, I will go change uh, the unit, uh, project unit. So go to manage that, go to project unit. So for the length and distance, so as in Civil 3D, we'll cancel on that first. So as in Civil 3D, the project unit here is in meter. So I'm going to use this one to, uh, to follow the civil 3D unit. So it was be easier for me to draw it later on. Okay, go to line here and change it to meter. So decimal places around two decimal places. So same as the distance, meter, two decimal places. Okay, so it's, uh, I prefer it like this. If you want to like, uh, still using in meter uh, millimeter, you can also use that. For me, it's be easier for me to do in meter because the civil 3D project also in meter. Okay. So next one, I'm going to go to insert tab. So here where we link the AutoCAD uh, civil 3D drawing model just now. So go to link cat here. And then I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to use this topography dash model okay so uh, the colors is preserved layer or the import unit will be meter okay and then the auto uh, the positioning will be auto origin to internet origin place at level one and then the address is okay click on open and then you can find this is your topography from civil TV that we linked in so this is just a link, not yet the topography in Revit. So what you can do is you have to generate the topography in Revit first so that you will see the topography uh, being generated uh, in a Revit model. So what I'm going to do is go to Messy and Site tab here. And then you can find there is a topo surface. Click on that button and then here you can find create from import, okay? So this is where we're creating for uh, DWG or you CSV file. And then we can export it in 3D in a Revit model. Okay, click on that. Click on select import instance because we are already linked in the civil 3D. Okay, and then click on the topography. So it will pop up these layers about the uh, surface. So there is like a bunch of layer there. So I just want topo major and topo minor. So I check non first and I click only on the topo major and topo minor. And then click on OK and click on finish. So if I go to 3D view and then I can find that is my topography for in, in Revit. 
Okay, it generating uh, referring to the civil trading uh, topography. So I'm going to change the graphic to realistic. So uh, it will show the material here is like a earth material. So if you want to change the material for your topography here also again, so you click on the topography and then you go to properties here and you can find that is a material. So go to the buy category, click on the box with three dot there, and then you can like uh, put in your material, for example, uh, a plant or a, a grass, okay? Okay, a plant here. So for example, I want to add in a plant. A moment, I admit participant. Hello, who is just coming? Hello. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so click on this plan and just bring it up to the project material and click on apply, click on OK. So if I click on here, you can find the material that will be changed to a plan. Okay, this is how you change the material of your topography. So uh, right now, currently, uh, the elevation here are not uh being generated uh, in rabbit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, set the rabbit coordinate according to the civil trading so how you do that so you have to go to call uh, call break go to manage that and then you can find here is uh, the project location where you set the coordinate for your uh, drawing Okay, for example, I'm going to use this uh, point here as a base point. So it will uh, follow this base point for the coordinate. Okay, click on the coordinate drop down here and then go to acquire coordinate. Click on that one, zoom up a little bit until you can find that uh, the blue line for selecting the link there, you know, the topography there. Click on that one, and then it will pop up this uh, accurate coordinates as it. So currently, my coordinate system is unknown because I didn't uh, specify any coordinate uh, system, GIS coordinate system just now in Civil 3D. So if you have your own coordinate system, you uh, set your own coordinates already set or your coordinate system in Civil 3D, so it will show here at this unknown uh, place here. So if you don't have, you, you show, we will show the same as me. If you have uh, set the coordinate, you will show here. So click on close. So you can find the base point symbol there uh, we change, uh, changing. So click on that one. And I'm going to bring it to this point. And if I zoom in, click on the base point again, you can see the north and the east uh, value are same as the uh, value here. Sorry, okay, same, but safe as the same as the value here. Eight seven four four and two eight five two eight two five. Okay, and then if you can find here at the if I click on the base point. And you can find here at the properties. So the elevation is currently on zero. If you go to south elevation, okay, you can find here is your elevation, your level that is pretty far from our uh, topography. So if you want like bring this up to your topography, so you have uh, to uh, key in your elevation here. So currently, it's just uh, using the default uh, level there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you have to click on the base point first. So the elevation here, going, I'm going back to my civil 3D drawing, and then I'm going to find that uh, this one, the point that just now I bring the base point. Okay, same here, this one, uh, 8744. 28525. So same here, 8744, 28525. 
So I'm going to click on this point. I'm going to set this as a base point. Base point. Right click and go to the properties. So I'm going to like drag it out. Okay, here. So here, if you scroll down, you can find down here is the geometry. Okay. So this is the easting value and northern value and also the point elevation. So I'm going to use this point elevation and insert it in our Revit elevation just now. So just copy on that, control C. Okay, go to Revit, click on the base point again, and then key in the uh, elevation that I just uh, copied just now. And if I go back to my uh, soft elevation and you can find the whole uh, level are currently now, uh, currently, currently now uh, using the elevation that I just key in. So you can now uh, change the level one elevation value, level two elevation value according your preference. So for example, level one, usually it will be zero. Enter. So level two around two meter. Okay. And the TO foundation wall will be negative um, 0 0.75. So this value just now, I just key in like my what numbers come in my mind. If you have your own uh, specific uh, value here, you can just uh, you can just enter it here, enter the value. So currently, I just key in what numbers that come in my mind. Okay, and this one, the beautiful thing, like two meter, no, one point five. Okay, if I scroll, uh, if I zoom up and I go to my topography there. So the elevation now currently will be at uh, near to the topography. So if we do our work here, it will refer to this elevation, okay? So two meter slab, level one, the old footing and so on, okay? This is just a random number. If you have your own spec, you can just enter it, okay? So you so right now you can go to site view. Okay, at the site view, you can like create a pad, a building pad where you can like uh, draw your building there. So go to messings and site there and go to building pad. So it is the same in the same column with the topo surface just now. So click on building pad. So for example, I just created a simple rectangle space here. For example, just here. Okay, just a random uh, pad there. So it, the level will be level one and the offset will be zero. So click on finish. So if I go to 3D view, so you can find that is my building pad. Okay. So you can like draw your building there. So if you go to level one, so you see here, so you cannot see the building pad here because it like uh, being, being topped by uh, uh, the link, the link there, the topography there. So what I'm gonna do is I go to BG and then you scroll down until you find topography. Uh, so currently, topography here are unchecked. So you have to check on that. And then click on apply. And uh, okay, click on apply. And go to imported category tab here. And I'm going to uncheck all elements in topography model. I did not uncheck the whole uh, I, I did not uncheck this topography. I just unchecked the element. So the topography will be there, but the element or will not be shown. Okay, click on apply, click on okay. So you can find that is our level one topography. So if you go to level two, you can just repeat the step just now. 
find topography and then go to import the category enable everything element in the topographic model DW model DWG just now so apply so this is a, a view from level two okay okay and in this building pad so you for example I just going to uh, like create a random wall architecture wall so this go to level two okay just a random so we're just going to like creating a rectangle there. Okay. So if I go to 3D view, so you can find that is my like uh, the uh, space there. Okay. So at this 3D view, you can find that is, there is still a, a topography from Civil 3D, this one, where we link it just now. So if you want to enable this, um, topography or you uh, don't want to see like this line there where where it show the topo um, topography there okay so if you want to enable it just go to vg and go to topography for the model category first scroll down and then don't uncheck the topography just uncheck the element okay if you uncheck the topography, it will like hide everything in your uh, in your drawing. Okay, go to imported category tab, uncheck everything for the D, uh, DWG drawing, uh, DWG model. Click on apply. Okay, so it will be look like more clean there. So there is no like line, and also there is no topo. Uh, topography DWG drawing that we just linked just now. All right, so you may continue here, do your building, or you want to add more pad like uh, the uh, road or the uh, anything that you want if, uh, referring to your project. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here. This is how you imported, you import, oh, okay, sorry. You export your civil 3D drawing, your civil 3D surface, topo surface from civil 3D to Revit. Okay. So before I stop, I'm going to like um uh, share my uh, this ACAT system website. Okay, you can just browse any acadsystem.com. And then you can find there is the product that we currently uh, provided. And then if you scroll down, you can find the update on the promotion. And if you, if you scroll down more, you can find the next free online lessons. If you're interested to join, just click on the image there. And then on the image, taking time. Okay, we will bring you to the registration. Okay. Click on going and insert your information, your email. So we will email you the date, the time, and also the Zoom link to you. And if you want to rewatch this uh, today for a lesson, you can go to our YouTube channel, ACAT System Sindra and Berhad, and then you can go to videos. So you can find there is a lot, lot more uh, a free online lessons uh, topic uh, on various of uh, software that you can explore. Okay, you don't forget to subscribe us so you will be updated to our new video. Okay, so um, there is a question you want to ask me before we end our free online lesson today. Okay, thank you also for CA to notice me about the uh, ENCO, about my uh, voice. How to do topo in Revit? So if you want to do topo in Revit, it's simple. You can just go to Revit. So I'm just going to like go to site. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it. Maybe I can draw it here. So, or, or if you don't want to disturb this topo, you can just go to messing inside, 
go to topo surface and you create your own point there. Place point. So if you have your elevation, you can insert your elevation. For example, just now the elevation is like 400 something. Okay, 425, for example. And then you can just uh, place it in your uh, uh, in your drawing. Apparently not. So maybe I need to create a new one. I have a survey a cat file. How to insert survey a cat file? Mm, do you mean uh, a surface survey a cat file? Mm, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't really sure what you mean by a survey a cat file. Mm, survey with all level create topo. Or you mean like this, like this one? Okay, yes. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, existing point like this one. Okay. How to do to go? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can you you can um uh oh you don't have the elevation but direct to in rabbit. Hmm. Uh. You for me, uh, for the AutoCAD, I think there is no export in Civil 3D drawing. So you have AutoCAD drawing at yeah, just now. So we I can follow. So, uh, today I show you how to like so like this. No, hey, no Civil 3D that export to Revit and direct to in Revit. Okay, you can do this method. One of the method you have to export it to Civil 3D drawing first. We can just manage link to Revit, right? Yes, of course. You can uh, link it to Revit. Go to insert, go to link cat. Okay, and then link your uh, Civil 3D drawing. Okay, so before you link your Civil 3D drawing, you have to like uh, export it first. So whatever Civil 3D surface drawing you have, you cannot like uh, directly save and then just um, link it here. Okay, link the only the topography that you cannot do that. You have to like export it to a model drawing first. So you uh, on uh, after that you can link it to the rabbit and then do your work there. Okay. Uh, uh, or I'm answer your question. Uh, thank you. So, yes. Okay. So unfortunately, you have to export it first. Uh, this is just on. This is the only way that I know. The only method that I know that uh, we can directly export the civil three D topo to the rabbit. Okay. So if you like want to watch this uh, video again, you can just go to our YouTube channel. So like uh, you miss out anything uh, just now, you can just rewatch it. Okay, thank you everyone. So there is any question and um, any question you want to ask me more? Thank you. Okay, thank you to Arisa and CCW. Thank you everyone. Hopefully that you guys can understand me today. So sorry for the um, uh, the encore just now, and then if I uh, um, thank you for joining me, and hopefully that I can uh, hopefully uh, can hopefully to meet you in our free our in our next Corona lessons. Take care, everyone. Happy holiday. Tomorrow is a holiday, and uh, take care. Bye bye. See you next time. Thank you.